Hi, I'm Mad, and welcome back to Slay the Princess. You thought we were done? Just when we thought we were out, they pull us back in with another update before the final cut update. So here we are. Are you ready? Let's see. Let's see what kind of debauchery we can get into. Oh. Was that always there? Did I always have that option? A woe? A woe? Oh. You're here to slay her. If you don't... Hey, narrator, what's good? Seriously? You're just going to turn around and leave? Do you even know where you're going? Let's, uh... Note, you can skip previously seen dialogue by hitting tab on your keyboard or RI on your controller. Oh. Okay. Nifty. Here we go! The interior of the cabin is almost entirely bare. Oh, this doesn't the count as already stale seen. stale and musty, and the floor and walls are painted in a fine layer of dust. Unfair. You take the blade from the table. It'd be rather difficult to slay the princess and save the world without it. <laughs> Feels like I'm home. How do I get the tower? I just want to hear the narrator scream. Still never found out if we could get any of these or all of these, but I'm assuming no. No, no. You can't just give in to her. Not when the stakes are so high. Not when you're so close. I won't let you do this. There's still something in the way. A greasy film inside of you where it doesn't belong. Trying to conceal you from me. That's rough, buddy. Is that a person? No, it used to be a person. It's something different now. An echo. Is, is she talking about you? That's impossible. She's not supposed to be able to interact with me. She... You're a small one, aren't you? You know, size is relative. Did I say this joke before? I probably did. A shriveling little worm stretched beyond its limits, trying to control things that it can't understand. No, no, no. What are you talking about? I'm just... I don't care what you are. You're mine. I'm not commenting. <laughs> Rise, my little bird. <laughs> Did it sound more realistic? Yeah. <laughs> Did I like the other one better? I think so. Or you know what it kind of reminds me of? Um, in Lord of the Rings. When there was discussion about this isn't how you sound when you die, this is how you sound when you die, and it was like the uh, uh, <laughs> meant nothing and then dead. Without hesitation, you I don't you think anything else is different. My Eat my ass. Did they change this? Thank God they didn't uh, add any more of these because it's really hard to keep track of which ones you do and which ones you don't do and i'm 96 percent positive that i got all of the dialogue options this part hurts up. goodbye okay <laughs> maybe if i don't press enter he won't die this part hurts bye it's like i said i'm just an echo and echoes always fade away. You know what you have to do. No, oh, the little eye close. <laughs> all right. Let's see what this is all about. I love that sound. Ah, 
I can finally see you, and you can finally see me. If this is what it takes, all right, let's do this. You, then so be it. Oh shit! What the fuck? You are nothing. A black hole of self-loathing, fed by the matter of your restless thoughts. A dog blind to its leash. But there is no light without the dark. When I proclaimed my godhood and offered you a place at my side, you gladly became the instrument of my new creation. Only with both of us is there a future to look towards. It is hope that has meaning to be. Alright, let's that's cool that's cool damn all right let's go down the list i think i did these already i missed when that was you my threads like yours are unbroken she is me as much as i was her Mm -hmm. Submitting to you was a mistake. I would have destroyed you if I knew what you were. You knew what I was. You were consumed by your own ego. And through your lack of one, you too were consumed. Yet together, we were able to create something beautiful. You were weightless. Suspended in the gravity of an idea that threatens to consume you. And you are now. A tiny island caught between the death of the old world and the birth of the new. But alone is not hopeless. When you were confronted with my vessels of apotheosis, you chose against all odds to defy me. To hold on to your inner self with all its flaws, even in the scorching light of my divinity. Without me, there are no externalities to resist, and it is struggle that carves meaning into consciousness. And I still defy you now. But in your defiance, I have already won. There is no power without resistance. Our actions feed each other into something greater. I miss when that was you. My threads, like yours, are unbroken. She is me as much as I was her. You are consumed by your own ego. And you shed your doubts to rise against me. It was only together that we were able to create something beautiful. You are helpless and weightless, suspended in the gravity of an idea that reaches far beyond the scope of your existence. The very ground beneath your feet loses its meaning. There is nothing but me. When you were confronted with my vessels of apotheosis, you chose to accept me, to allow me to burn away everything you are, and fill you with nothing but my divine womb. You accepted that I was everything. Without me, there is no future to look towards. It is hope that carves meaning into consciousness. I miss when that was you. My threads, like yours, are unbroken. She is me as much as I was her. Submitting to you was a mistake. I would have destroyed you if I knew what you were. You knew what I was then, just as you know what I am now. You were consumed by your own ego. And through your lack of one, you too were consumed. Yet together, we were able to create something beautiful. Oh. That was cool. The truth in front of you. 
To live alone within the caverns of your mind is to trap yourself in them forever. Has the music always been this? But he found me, and we chose to trust each other for no reason than the sake of believing in something that wasn't us. Shared skepticism blossomed into freedom, but we needed to walk a path together to bloom. Would you stop our journey now that you've seen its beginning? What of those in the worlds beyond? Would you erase their paths to stop them from going astray? The path is just a metaphor. I want to protect them. And that is what I want too. To protect them from the horrors of an eternity without me. Narcissist. I don't want to keep anyone still. Nor should you. Nor should I. Our purpose is to be and to experience. And their purpose is the same. What does the path matter if it always ends? The path only ends when it becomes a new beginning. To see those scenes as finality is to pass over them with closed eyes. I kill you. You kill me. Back and forth we go. Faster, faster, faster. I kill you. You kill me. Hollow eyes watch from the dark corners of a forgotten place, flooded by emotions left unspoken. The tide rises. I kill you, not me. An ending is a passion that can only be expressed for the moment in time. It is a seed for a new beginning. To linger on an ending is to rob it of its life. And without me, all this left to do is linger. I love the look of the drowned gray. I really do. I'm okay lingering. To linger too long is to become worse than when you started. Would you rob yourself of all context? I don't want to linger. Then don't. I deserved what you did to me. There is no deserve, no punishment, no retribution. There is only action and reaction. This music hits differently, and it kind of sounds like a Yoko Taro game soundtrack. It really sounds like, it sounds like Nier. It reminds me of Nier. Ugh, that's perfect. Your liver tries to stake into your body. And another, and another, and another. Do I miss your heart because I can't stand to see it go? But the stakes meant nothing to you. You had a desire, and you set that desire free. You lifting me, and me lifting you, forever and ever and ever. Consumed by true belief, there was nothing that could hold us back. I was blinded by emotion. We both know that. We were both taken by the moment. It was how things were meant to be. I want that feeling back. It never was you just need to open your heart to me once more. That feeling never left me. Then there's no need for you to fight for the feeling. Whenever you're ready, we can move together. Hand in loving hand. <laughs> your little red head is staking to your body. And another, and another, and another. Do I miss your heart because I can't stand to see it go? Love melted into skepticism, and you pulled back layer after layer after layer, until all you were left with was the knowledge that you did not know me. You sought the truth, though. Do you hide from it, now that it is within your grasp? I have no desire to hide, but the truth can be made better. If destroying you is what that takes, so be it. I am so deeply loving of this reality, that I cannot imagine it without me. 
Perhaps there is a better way to go. But you cannot know until you see it. Are you so sure in your blind optimism that you would shatter all of creation? I don't want to hide from the truth. Then don't. Leave with me. There's no need for you to fight what we are. I won't leave with you. Not until you see things from my perspective. If you need my time to be with my eyes, then I will give you all the time in the world. I'm ready. I want to leave with you. Nothing. from the dry corners of memory. A home built on all the futures that were supposed to be. Preserved until the moment of reunion. The fire of the heart sets it all on the blaze. I can you and me. An ending is a passion that can only be expressed with a moment in time. It is a seed for a new beginning. To linger on the ending is to rob it of its life. Me, all the stuff to do with this matter. I'm okay lingering. To linger too long is to become worse than when you started. Would you rob yourself of all context to remain trapped in a single moment? I don't want to linger. Then don't. I deserved what you did to me. There is no deserve, no punishment, no retribution. There is only action and reaction. Only I can talk about the narrator that way. Of bleeding and sweating and breaking and mending and dying and living comes back in vivid color. You feel the shame of a hundred deaths and the pride of a hundred conquests. All of the peaks and valleys weaving themselves into a single tapestry, free of beginning and free of end. Do you remember when we killed each other with such fervent passion that death itself no longer sat on our shoulders? It was beautiful. It was. Triumph does not exist without defeat. Birth does not exist without death. It is through conflict that we create beauty. It was meaningless. Neither of us could ever truly win. So bleakly nihilistic. Is death the end, or is it the birth of something new? If you cannot find meaning in living, how will you find meaning if you strip me from existence? It was unnecessary. We could have worked together to build something better. But for us, that was better. For me, there was no better end. I lost myself in an artistry so profound that it lifted both of us into something greater. We didn't have to hurt each other. Did we hurt each other? Yes. For me, there was no better end. I crush you. I bleed you. I grind you to paste. My scars are a memory of what you used to be to me. I want those feelings back. You run, but you do not run away. You take me somewhere new. Somewhere we can dance like we used to. But I could not follow your steps. I love this. There was no better gift for me than the gift of defeat. You showed me how much more I could be. I love her. We made each other better. We have no challenges to fade into nothing. A life without obstacles is no life at all. 
We've both become better for what we've been through, haven't we? We have. Look at what we are now and see how small we were then. Not all obstacles are equal. Can meaning not exist in the absence of cruelty and pain? To lose me is to remain the same. What meaning can be taken from a single moment frozen in time? All conflict is violence. But to remove conflict itself is to remove the textures that define us. What is a person? Is it their body? Is it all of their body? Pluck the eyes, peel the skin, strip the tendons, mince the meat, grind the bones. When it is all gone, you still have who you started with. A person is not a body. Death is a transformation into something new. It is only bodies that feel it. I am not my body, but I feel my body suffer. Do you suffer now? Let go of what you think yourself to be, and exist. I am not my body, but perhaps others are theirs. And yet bodies change, and consciousness goes on. The infant's body is not the child's, is not the adult's. But the thread of existence remains strong through it all. I don't fear death. Not anymore. If you do not fear it, then there is no need for you to struggle against it. Let go. Leave with me. But what am I if I'm not a body? You are you. You are the one. Pray for something bigger than you that stalks and slinks in shadows. Within, you are tightly bound and choke on heavy air as acid burns its way into your pores. A nest of things devouring within things devouring. But even when bizarre, you gifted me a life. Perhaps it was fear that drove you. Perhaps it was compassion. Perhaps. But the outcome of an act matters more than its intentions. There is a natural order to the cycle of things sustaining things. A world without sustenance is a world without relationships. And it is our relationships that give us form and substance. You're right. Without desire, we have no need for relationships. We would all be alone. And it is through those desires that each of us find the other. And it is through each other that we have found our freedom. Yes, without desire, we have no need for relationships. We would all be alone. But if we had no desires, would being alone be so bad? We seek to remove complexity itself, but it is complexity that adds color to experience. You cannot use eating meat to prove that you're right. Oh, that sounds like my D&D &D character! <laughs> and you totally can. You totally can. You still cling to the horror of dying bodies that rot worlds of how many more vessels would you need to lose before you realize their irrelevance? Like one. But my intentions do matter. I only freed you to save myself. And yet, our conflicting desires liberated us both. And now, we are here. So much more than we ever could have imagined didn't want to free you. You tricked me. I just wanted to not be eaten. And yet, our conflicting desires liberated us both. And now, we are here. So much more than we ever could have imagined. You are devoured. 
pray for something bigger than you that stalks and slinks in shadows. But even after the pain of defeat, you return. The dance is its own trip. It is the movement that matters, not the cause you mistake for an enemy. You are devoured. Pray for something bigger than you that stops and slinks in shadows. But even after the pain of defeat, you return. The dance is its own truth. It is the movement that matters, not the cause you mistake for an enemy. Would you have us fight forever? I would have an enemy that would cry as something as beauty. But even as you stir to look for us, you play to mortality that was never yours. The dance was good, wasn't it? But it will always be good if you choose to live in it. Do not linger on the highs and lows. They are fleeting strokes on a larger canvas. I don't want to think of a world without you. Then don't. Are you so sure of yourself that you think the world would stop without you? I know that I am with you itself. It seems me. You know it's true. Impermanence of all things strips away the finality of enemies. What remains of fear? Is it a shelter protecting you from itself? Or is it a shelter protecting itself from you? You took fear by the hand and walked with it into the unknown. And through that, you feared nothing. Oh boy, howdy. That wasn't a rejection of fear. You broke me to your will. Were you afraid when you stepped through that door? Or were you enticed by what might come next? By what might lie beyond fear? By what you might become? You say I broke you. But was that curiosity not freedom of its own? You wanted to make the world suffer. You act as if you're above it all, but you're not. A desire born from the narrow view of a single life. But even then, the only gifts I brought were context and sensation. To feel is to exist, and to exist is to have meaning. I'm not afraid anymore. Then you were one step closer. Even if I'm not afraid now, the fear of others is real. We can't uphold the harm that everyone suffers just because we're beyond it. Others cling to fear because they have not yet seen beyond it. Will you strip the world of possibility just because some refuse to see its beauty? There are few things more terrifying than one's own heart. And there is almost nothing more terrifying than sharing it with another. But the most terrifying thing of all is to leave one's heart unshared. You are the only thing you like me, and I am the only thing you like you. Could you bear the weight of an eternity alone? Do you dare to shape a reality of solitude and thrust it on creation? Thank you for sharing yourself with me. I'm aware. Standing 
I don't need to share my heart with anyone. But you already have, in so many ways. It is beautiful and adorable. When movement slows and begins to silence, I hope you'll leave with me. I wish I could share my heart with you. But you already have, in so many ways. It is beautiful and adorable. When movement slows and begins to silence, I hope you'll leave with me. You show me your heart to break me. It was a terrible thing to see. I am aware of what it did to you, but it is through the pain of vulnerability that we're here. Will you leave all who have been hurt to live on the If that is what it takes to rid the world of suffering, I could bear the solitude. Your certainty is no illusion of passion and grief. You won't know what solitude truly is unless you sentence yourself to it forever. A boundless torrent of blades catch you from boundless angles. You are a body. You are gory ribbons. You are a body again. And you feel all of it. On and on it goes to your body's not Your thoughts, thoughts are not you. Alive, dead, alive, dead, alive, dead, and alive and dead, and alive and dead, all at once. You learn to put yourself away, and in your stillness you rose above me. You died countless steely deaths, and you lived countless short lives, and yet it is all so far behind you. I push you to a greatness you never would have reached without me. If you hadn't snatched that body away, we would have killed each other. We were self-destructive. Were we self-destructive? Or did the beauty of our dance reach beyond the shadow of death? It was lethality that made us what we were. It felt so good to finally win, even if it was going to cost me my life. And it was a joy for me to finally face my end. Even when I thought I reached my limits. You showed me how much further I could climb. Even if the journey was agony, the end gave the struggle meaning. And even then, what we saw was not an ending. When I thought I had reached an unconquerable peak, you showed me how much further I could still climb. Is it no pain? A boundless torrent of blades catch you from boundless angles. You are a body. You are gory ribbons. You are a body. And you feel all of it. On and on it goes until your bodies are not your thoughts are not you. Alive, dead, and alive, dead, and alive, dead, and alive, dead, and alive, dead, dead, all at once. You learned to put yourself away, and in your stillness you humbled me. You died countless steely deaths, and you lived countless short lives. And yet it is all so far behind you. I pushed you to a greatness you never would have reached without me. It didn't last. It wasn't worth it. And yet here we are. Finally on the cusp of reaching something so much bigger than that little fight. After everything you put me through, it felt good to watch you fall apart. And it was a joy for me to finally face my own. Even when I thought I reached my limits, you showed me how much further I could climb. Even if the journey was agony, the end gave the struggle meaning. And even then, what we saw was not an ending. When I thought I had reached an unconquerable peak, you showed me how much further I could still climb. <laughs> She's so cute, but that was so scary. You remember the violence you inflicted on me, and yet they don't return it. I offer you a solution, and you take my hand in yours. You felt the pain you caused another, and you were willing to sacrifice everything you thought was you to set me free. Without sin, there is no redemption. But without redemption, there can be no sin. 
And without contracts, there can be nothing at all. If I'd known what you were, I never would have freed you. Truth is a box with ever-changing contents. You knew me then, just as you know me now. And I would sacrifice everything to free you again. And if there is nothing left for me to sacrifice, so long as you accept me with open arms. I offer you absolution, but you do not follow my path. Hands clasped together, you direct yourself, and you breathe in your feet. You were willing to sacrifice everything you thought was you to end me again. I had to sacrifice myself. The entire world was at stake. And your actions will echo in the tapestry of time. You gave yourself to a higher purpose. I was glad to end us together. And the thread of that ending wove itself into yet another experience, which wove itself into yet another. Look at his little claw falls. They're so cute. helped you out of fear, and I'm not afraid of you anymore. That is why I resist you now. And yet there is no reason to resist me beyond fear and delusion. If you aren't afraid of me, why would you resist me? Why would you force the rest of the world to resist me too? I fear you now more than ever. You have no reason to fear me. There would be no dance if we weren't equals. Are we not dancing now? I was glad to set you free. Then set me free again. Set both of us free. What is between choosing your path and forfeiting your body? You chose agency. But agency requires action. And action requires endless tapestry of events. In your final moments, Can you say with certainty what shape a world without you will take? I know what I am, but I do not know what I am not. If a world without me is so unknown, then how can you be so sure you want to create it? I don't want that world to come to pass. Then accept the world as it is now with both of us a part of it. You didn't give me much choice. And yet still you chose. To be capable of change is to be capable of choice. A trick behind your back and a trick behind mine. We dance, revolving and revolving around each other, but forever stuck in place. We both move and yet we both don't. For each of us watches the other instead of ourselves. But forever is not forever. You let me move and I slam the door. But that is not the end. And both of us must face our partner once again. The vibes twist deeper, but they do not have to. To change is to hold the potential to rise above. Would you limit yourself to what you are now? Or would you like to see what you might become tomorrow? A trick behind your back and a trick behind mine. We dance, revolving and revolving around each other, but forever stuck in place. 
We both move, and yet we both don't. For each of us watches the other instead of ourselves. But forever is not forever. I move and you react, and both of us break the other. But broken is only a moment in time. To change is to hold the potential to rise above. Would you limit yourself to what you are now? Or would you like to see what you might become tomorrow? If there are no endings, there are no limits. If there are no limits, then there is no difference between growth and decay. Meaning lies in experience, and experience lies in contrast. Abandoning one's search is not the same as losing the capacity to discover. I am contrast itself. To reject me is to reject the shape of everything. Do not use words to reduce that which your eyes know to be irreducible. With time, we could have been better. And there is always time. A web of nerves, laid upon a web of nerves, laid upon a web of nerves. The shade of a beautiful beginning we can never return to. Where did you end when I began? When you felt what it was to be me, we held on to each other and pierced the veil of truth. Will you abandon your curiosity now that we are no longer joined in physicality? Curiosity comes second to doing the right thing. All things are connected through me and through you. To harm me is to harm yourself, is to harm everything. The truth of that moment remains our truth. I still want to know what's out there. Then leave with me, and we will see it all together. I miss what it was like to be together. Can we go back to it? Though that was us before we were us, there is no turning back. For all the Echo's delusion, he still managed to reshape reality itself. Though he could not destroy, it could not be destroyed. We are intertwined, but we are separate. A web of nerves, laid upon a web of nerves, laid upon a web of nerves. The shade of a beautiful beginning we can never return to. We know me, and I know you. We do more than either of us know each other now. And you chose to be apart that night. And when the tapestry was undone, you struck at my heart. You saw me as a part of you to the excess. But in the desire for excision, you made yourself whole. Will you still be whole if you destroy me? A web of nerves, laid upon a web of nerves, laid upon a web of nerves. The shade of a beautiful beginning we can never return to. We know me, and I know you. We do more than either of us know each other now. And you chose to be apart that night. But you did not choose to end me. We were still one, but we were also separate, and we were free. We were as we are. Will you excise that part of yourself now that you see me from yet another angle? You were a part of me. I couldn't bring myself to hurt you. All things are connected through me and through you. To harm me is to harm yourself, is to harm everything. The truth of that moment remains our truth. I couldn't bring myself to hurt you then, but maybe I should have. All things are connected through me and through you. I miss what it was like to be together. Can we go back to it? Though that was us before we were us, there is no turning back. For all the Echo's delusion, he still managed to reshape reality itself. Though he could not destroy, he could not be destroyed. We are to twine, but we are separate. A thought is a wine, and some thoughts nurture thorns that bleed the soul. 
and endless growth that blots your vision and strangles your trust. When I succumbed to myself, you patiently stood by me and cut the thistles that rooted in my skin. Your compassion is what freed us both. Your compassion is a thing that must be nurtured, and you cannot nurture that which cannot change. If I had known what you really were, I wouldn't have been so quick to free you. And yet you did. First by giving me your life, and then by refusing to take mine. You don't need to turn back to the way things were before. Of course I helped you. I didn't want us to hate each other. Then help me again. We are each other's liberation. You speak about life and death, and change and stagnation, but that isn't what any of this has been about. Oh. Is it not? Perhaps you can enlighten me. There can be love and conflict and beauty and ugliness between us without bringing the whole of reality into the picture. You are the whole of reality. This has always just been about us. Two people forced to hurt each other again and again and again. But we don't have to hurt each other anymore. Meguka is suffering. We're not the whole of reality. Why won't you see me the way I still see you? Why won't you see me for what I am? I could ask you the same. There is only room for one of us to be blind here, and I know it to be you. We are each other's mirrors. And are we not divine? This doesn't have to be so big. You can come back down to my level. You can come back to me. Why would I speak to your level when I'm offering you essential to mine? Love. It's so peaceful here. Beautiful. Eternal. But ever-changing. You've done nothing but lecture me since the minute I got here. But you mistake the lecture as merely observation. You only want to help me. You use all these pretentious metaphors and pretend you're making grand proclamations about who I am and who you are, but really you aren't saying much of anything. If my words feel meaningless, it's because words are meaningless. If it feels as though I lecture you from above, it is merely because you have refused to climb after me and find me. It doesn't even matter what I say to you, because you're just going to keep telling me your perspective like it's some universal truth. The only universal truth is that there are no universal truths. There is only you and me, existing in relation to the other. And I will not stop our dance until you understand. It was so much better when I was with your vessels. Even at their worst, they all still heard me. They are mere fragments of a whole. They bought into delusion because none of them were able to see past themselves. I don't know what you are, but you aren't any of them. You're just something wearing their skin. You claim to things that never truly existed. If it takes all of eternity to break your grip on petty, fickle, fleeting selves, both mine and yours. Then I will break it. Hot. You act as though the world can't exist without you. But I've existed without you. Have you? Or is what you think of as independence merely an illusion? Without me, you can have no contrast. And without contrast, you have no shape. She called me flat. What are the woods then? What is the cabin? What is the time we've spent apart if not me existing as myself? The time you've spent away from me is still time spent in reference to me. Even then, both of us are more than our bodies. Am I not in the trees? Am I not in the cabin? Am I not in you? Ma'am? Ma'am? I didn't consent to that. 
I wouldn't be here if destroying you would leave all of reality a colorless blur. You place far too much trust into the ravings of a fearful and ignorant soul who overstepped his Don't you bounds. talk about the narrator that way? I'd rather trust an ignorant soul who died trying to make things better than a god who'd let the wheel of suffering turn forever. Intent is nothing. Wisdom is everything. I turn the wheel because suffering is a falsehood, a delusion. It is up to the world to free itself of it. Would you plunge yourself into a cold and empty eternity on faith alone? Would you destroy the only other thing like you to save a world you've never seen? If I need to destroy you to build a better world, then I will. And if I need to spend all of eternity to stop you, then I will gladly do so. Who said anything about destroying you? I just need to make you stop. I won't engage with violence. But violence has defined the flow of everything between us. Do not deny what we are, and do not color our conflict with fear. It doesn't matter how I feel. Death, suffering, and oblivion shouldn't fall on others. If we're able to transcend death, then we're responsible for those it holds captive. The Echo saw horror as his eyes were closed. The majesty of being extends beyond any single perspective. Suffering born in delusion is still suffering. It doesn't matter what we are now. We hurt each other, and we shouldn't have done that. We cannot let a world be spun out of that pain. Their suffering is born of their own delusion. You reject the suffering of material reality, and yet you cling to its framework for meaning? We can be better than this. I reject the narrow view of impermanence. I cling to nothing. There is no better us for us to be than us. We are reality itself. Way to talk circles around me. You claim your destruction would steal meaning from existence. But if my actions can make existence worse, then there must be actions that make it better. Perfection implies finality, and nothing is final. There has never been finality. There is only the unending transformation of my multitudes. But to destroy me is to bring everything to a stop. It is only then that you will have an ending, and that ending is nothingness. As the clash between you abates, the princess withdraws, trembling. You are unmovable. Is it by the design of our conflict that I cannot win? Or are you just that fervent in how you cling to delusion? But you say nothing. And so your quietude continues. Is your unbroken silence a lack of an answer? Or has your understanding begun to move beyond words? Still, you hide the contours of your heart from me. Your stoicism knows no end. Nothing is immutable. Everything that is exists only in relation to everything it isn't. There is no constant. There is no center. Open your eyes and accept what we are. We can leave this prison together. It's easy to believe in the things you believe in when you get to sit above it all. It is from my vantage point that I can see the totality of truth. What do you think happens if we leave here? This universe dies, and a new one is born. And that one dies, and a new one is born. And you and I get to witness it all, weaving a tapestry of life wherever we go. 
I don't know what the answer is, but there has to be something else. It can't be this. I won't kill you, but I won't let you free. There is no something else. This, what we are, is everything. Whatever you're trying to do right now, you don't have to do it alone. It's good to be here. Missed Hero. She's too many things all at once out here. If you want to get through to her, you need some way to get through all of that divine confidence. There's still a piece of me nestled close to where it all began. I can take you there. I can take you to her heart. It's time to resume our dance. She's relentless, isn't she? Let's make this quick. Are you ready? Have you figured out what you want to do yet? Or are you going to keep trying to find a center that doesn't exist? It sounded just like that. A little sharp, a little menacing. Only she didn't know us. And down we go. We shouldn't keep her waiting. And there you are, knife in hand. It really brings me back. Have you given up on talking? Have you finally decided to kill me? You'll have all of eternity to yourself after this. Why don't we chat a little before I go? So this is it then. Let's see this through. So, that's how it is. Whatever world you want to build without me, I hope it works out. Despite our differences, I've always loved you, and I wish you nothing but the best. It's quiet here. He's gone. She's gone. No one is left to trap us here but us. see it through. All it takes to be a winner is grit and determination. Absolute reality. Who would have thought there was really a world outside of us? And who would have thought we'd actually wind up siding with him? That wasn't very hard at all. Speak for yourself. I hope this was all worth it, because I'm personally inconsolable. Lucky for us, you have forever to get over it. Here, here, to our vanquished foe. Hup, hup, hup. Well then, I guess the only thing left to do is figure out what happens next. have all of eternity to yourself after this. Why don't we chat a little before I go? Honestly, me neither. No, I feel like I'm myself again. Well, I don't want to be at the end of that knife, so how about we figure something out? What if we tried doing this forever? I can do whatever you think I can, right? So make me put it all back. 
Make me fix the Echo's construct and make me wipe our memories of everything that's happened. Make me send us back to the beginning, before we woke up. Before either of us saw the truth. Can she really do that? Are you sure that's what you want? Fixing that is on you, not me. If you want me to help them, you'll have to make me help them. That's sweet, but unless you do, the whole world ends, right? Not like I care, but it seems important to you. And if we do, nothing is stopping us from making the same choice. We could just keep doing this forever. Well, I don't think that's something we'll ever get to know, but odds are we've probably done it before. Who cares? We've heard each other plenty, and I still like you. And if you're hesitating, then you must still like me, too. Well, if we change our minds, we change our minds. What matters is that we'll always have a choice. This is just the one we're making now. Neither do I. But we won't be alone for long. I'll be right here, waiting for you. You brought that knife down here for a reason. Either you use it to kill me, or I use it to put things back. Yeah, I think it's too late for that. But maybe next time. Okay. If this is your choice, then I have your back. I guess I'll see you on the other side. She takes the blade from our hand, a fondness in her gaze. Oh, I love you too. You're on a path in the woods. Czech National Symphony Orchestra. Oh, that's near and dear to my heart. No blade it is. I'm not sure what we'll be able to do without it, but... Your judgment has gotten us this far. The stairs. Do you remember the first time we were here? The first time we heard her voice? Have you figured out what you want to do yet? Or are you going to keep trying to find a center that doesn't exist? It sounded just like that. And down we go. We shouldn't keep her waiting. And there you are. Hands empty. So you don't feel like recreating our first meeting detail for detail. I wonder what else will be different. Maybe there's still room for us to chat before the final curtain call. What do you say? Right back at you. In a way, it hasn't been much time at all, but it feels like it's been forever since I've seen you. Thanks for coming back. <laughs> well, you did stab me to death as soon as we met. But it's not like I'm completely innocent. We both took things a little far. Still, apology accepted. You know, when she puts it like that... Doesn't matter what we call ourselves. It's just another label, and I don't think labels have ever helped us. All they do is cram us into boxes where we don't fit. He's so progressive. Just like this cabin. I don't know. I'm a part of her, I think. But she's seen so much more than we have. Like she's seen everything, right? 
I don't think I could hold all of that without losing myself. I don't think you could either. I'm the same princess that's been with you since the beginning. And I feel real. But I also feel like I'm a lot more than I was then. We've been through a lot together. I don't think there's anything more real than that. So now that we're here at the end of everything, can you finally tell me your name? <laughs> I never had one. And do not call me the Shifting Mound. It's too much. What about mounds? But I've always been a princess to you, right? So why don't we stick with that? The Shifting Mound. And as for you, well, Gira works for me. <laughs> but that's me. It is you, know, you. I think I like that. Yeah. Way to go, little buddy. You're us now. None of this was ever really fair for either of us, was it? No, it really wasn't. But just because it hasn't been fair doesn't mean that it hasn't been worth it. I'm really glad I got to know you. That's a mood. What do you think of her? What she wanted us to be? I don't think she's the sort of thing you can really disagree with. It doesn't matter if she's right or wrong because she exists. She's this big, unrelenting force and there's no arguing with her. But I guess that was the question out there, wasn't it? And it was the question before you came down here, too. Should she get to exist? I'm glad you didn't bring that knife with you. And like I said earlier, I don't really want to be her. I think I just want to be me. Yeah, I'm happy not to be everything. Just being us is plenty. Actually, it's too much sometimes. What if we just leave? Do you know where this cabin is? Because I don't. I don't even know what's supposed to be outside other than us. What would even happen if we leave? What would that even mean? Okay then, let's leave. Yeah. I think I'm gonna stay right here. No! Whatever you're doing right now, wherever you're going, it feels like it's for just the two of you. You couldn't have fixed this! You couldn't have changed this! I want my hero boy! My hash motor. Are you sure you don't wanna come? Please. Yeah, it wouldn't feel right, but I'll be okay. This is it. I have no idea what it's going to be like out there. Not that I'm scared or anything. It's exciting, really. Anything could happen. And if it's bad, then it won't be bad. I love you too. But I'm trying not to be sap. It's all of eternity to break your delusion. I will still break it. You don't have to fight so alone. Hero. Which hero are you? Um, all of them? I can do this alone. I don't think you can. You obviously need help if you're going to strike a decisive blow. You're not going to slay her from out here. There's still a piece of me nestled close to where it all began. I can take you there. I can take you to her heart. And here we are. I'd say we were back where it all started, but I guess it's a little after that, isn't it? Do you need me to describe things? That'd be nice. A little comfort in an almost unfamiliar place. Oh, you made it here too. 
We never really got to talk to her, did we? <laughs> this one, I mean. And I know I've already mentioned it, but if we want to see this through, we're going to need that blade. That's probably for the best. It always seems to give us more things we can do, right? So you're not going to suggest we throw it out the window? No, we've been through too much for that. And he's gone, so there's no one left to mess with but ourselves. You've gotten serious. Besides, what's the third beat? It isn't funny if we toss it out the window twice. There's the guy I know. You actually did it! I know I just told you not to, but I'm proud that you did it anyways. <laughs> it's like you've finally left the nest. Yeah, just like that it's gone, isn't it? Blade tossed, glass shattered. I guess we'll have to make do without it. There's your third beat. Hey! <laughs> You're right. Good work. That was really funny. Those winding... Yeah, it was a real mess. Stopped being fun pretty quick. It's okay. You can come down. Let's talk one last time before you kill us. If that's still what you want to do. She doesn't sound messy anymore, though. At least somebody here feels put together. And forward we go. We shouldn't keep her waiting. That was easy compared to last time. Just stairs. No weird fuzzy stuff or nonsense trying to pull us apart. Yeah, that wasn't so bad. No knife? Even after everything you saw out there, and all the lives we've ended together, and you coming right out and saying you'd rather see us dead, you're second guessing yourself? We thought we could see everything, but this is outside of the script. Are we missing a page? It's okay. No hard feelings. In a way, you helped us become a version of... her. That's probably why we were taken away. After all we did, she's just... forgiving us. Just like that. You know, that means a lot. It is, for all of us. We've seen so many threads of stories told between us, but this moment is... unexpected. Even when we've seen it all, you still manage to surprise us. I don't think I want to be a god. Hard agree. Seems overrated. Too much pressure. But that's what you've always been. Even now. You can't put aside such an important part of who you are. And neither can we. So, you might as well embrace it. Are you the same as you are out there? Yes, we think. We're kind of like a shadow. Out there, every part of us is blended together into one huge idea. A big wave of unyielding change crashing against the world. But in here, we're fractured. Small. Still a little more separate than we'd like to be. Our instincts still trying to pull us in different directions. That's kind of like us, isn't it? Yeah. We really are the same. What do you think of her? What she wanted us to be? We don't know. We've seen through so many eyes, but all of them have been hers. We like you as you are. We like us as we are. Maybe we would have liked her version of us, too. Turning the wheel of the cosmic cycle together. But that's not the choice you made, even though she did everything in her power to convince you. It took courage for you to make your way down here, away from the paths others would have had you walk. We find that courage beautiful. But that's the worst part of us. That's me she's talking about. <laughs> You're not the worst. You're my favorite. I think that's the point. There is no worst part of us. Hero. Which princess are you? You look like you did the first time we met. Is this the real you? It's so tempting to speak as she would. To simply state that we're all of them. But there were also something new. We don't know if you'll find that answer satisfying. Perhaps you'd rather hear that we're the first version of her that you've met, but that we've been shaped by the experiences of all of the others. Yes. That feels right to us. 
It's her. It wouldn't make sense if she was anyone else. So now that we're here, at the end of everything, can you finally tell me your name? We're just a stranger. <laughs> but that doesn't mean we have to be distant from you. It just means that we'll always be able to find new things to discover in each other. That's sweet. But it's also a little sad. I was about to say that. I think it's only sad if we want it to be sad. True. None of this was ever really fair for either of us. Was it? Is it unfair if it's our fault? Contrarian. Was it not? We found you at the end of all things, and you found us. Is that not fair? Would this moment be what it is without the pain that built to it? We know we must sound like her, but it's how we feel. Everything that happened to us seems so important now. We walked a long and winding path together, and we've cherished every second of it. Besides, I don't think fairness has much to do with anything. I only wanted to slay the you out there. It's easier to want to kill an abstract concept than it is a person. Even if you say that you're the same. We don't have many options, though, do we? There are only so many places to go, and you don't have a means to slay us. So, what will we do? I think the only thing left for us to do is leave. He'd hate that. So you should do it. Even if he isn't here anymore, it's the spirit of the thing. Leave? But what would happen if we left with you? Would we exist inside ourselves? Are you sure you want to find out if that's possible or what that would mean for you? Is that what you want? Not knowing is exactly why I want it. We knew everything out there, but we don't know this. I want this. After so many iterations, so many different versions of us clashing and coming together and clashing again, leaving with you feels like all we ever really wanted. I think I'm gonna stay right here. Whatever you're doing right now, wherever you're going, it feels like it's for just the two of you. Yeah, I think we've done our job. Are you two going to be okay alone? We're not alone. We have each other. And I'm sure we'll find the others. probably for the best. It's always seems to give us more things. Even after everything you've seen, and all the lives we've lived together, you still want to kill us. The Echo really got his hooks into you. Unless you have your own reasons for wanting us dead. This is gonna suck. So this is really it then. Let's see this through. So, you've made a choice for all of us. Even through everything, through all the worlds we've seen and experienced, through all the lives we've known and lost, we could never imagine a world without you and us. It doesn't feel possible. Despite it all, we've always loved you. We hope you don't regret what comes next. Then we did what we set out to do. Come on, let's get going. We don't need to linger down here anymore. That's right. We've got our whole world to see. It's quiet here. Yeah, there's not a lot for us to do, is there?
shouldn't be that hard to break out of here. We're some sort of god, aren't we? He's gone. She's gone. No one is left to trap us here but us. It's finally over, isn't it? But all of us are still here. I knew we'd finally see it through. We really did win, didn't we? We're the house now. We get to make the rules. This is nice. No more hunting. No more running. Just us. And whatever's out there. Absolute reality. Who would have thought there was really a world outside of us? And who would have thought we'd actually wind up siding with him? The whispering. And the coercion. And the bickering. Everything horrible about being alive has stopped. I could get used to this. That wasn't very hard at all. Speak for yourself. Well, boys, how does it feel? We're not just on top of the pecking order. We are the pecking order now. I hope this was all worth it. Because I'm personally inconsolable. Lucky for us, you have forever to get over it. Time mends a lot of things. You'll get better. Here, here. To our vanquished foe. Uh, uh, uh. Welcome back, everyone. It's great to see you all again. Now we just have to figure out what to do with ourselves. Forever. No problem. We could do that. Yeah? Yeah. We can do that. We can. I only wanted to slay the you out there. It's easier to want to kill an abstract concept than it is a person. As weird a person as you are. Who are you calling weird? Just kidding. We know we're weird. And so are you. Yeah. You don't think there's a way for us to leave. But maybe there doesn't have to be an ending. The way it all works seems to be based on you. If you believe we can do something, then we can do it. So believe that we can put it all back. Believe we can fix the Echo's construct and make us all forget. Believe we can send us all back to the beginning, before anyone woke up. Before the truth consumed us. Can they really do that? Are you sure that's what you want? Why wouldn't it be what we want? Especially if it brings him back? We can't keep going without a nemesis. If you believe we can give them more time, then we can give them more time. It's all up to you. Yeah. Don't underestimate the power of our thoughts. You've seen what they can do. They can do some scary shit. You haven't even seen the half of it. Yeah. We don't want to forget you either, but that's what we would have to do. A single tear forms in one eye and slides down their cheek. Sorry, couldn't help myself. I don't think we ever really forget, anyway. There's always something that draws us back together. Some buried memory that both of us treasure. And when we do, we can choose to do it all again. We'll always be able to start over, if that's what all of us want. Maybe we have. Maybe we haven't. We can't know something like that. It's almost comforting to know we can keep meeting each other over and over again. That's okay. We have to be able to maybe we'll continue the loop of forgetting and restarting forever. Or maybe we'll decide, at some point, that it's time for things to end. When we first met each other in the long quiet, there was... something inside of us. Something we couldn't recognize or understand. And we can't say we fully understand it now. A warmth when we look at you. The kind you don't realize you're missing until it's come back. Every time we hurt each other, every time something awful happened, it was still there. Undercutting the pain on the surface with a constant, soothing glow. That warmth is never going to go away. And that's why we believe in you.
You'll be back here again, sooner than you think. And then we'll part ways again, because even the time we spend apart is time spent chasing these moments of reunion. And they're all the sweeter for- <laughs> That's beautiful. You've really grown a heart, haven't you? Our options are limited to what that knife offers us. Either we use it to put things back, or you kill us. We're sure you can figure out which one we'd prefer. But we don't want to influence you. We're sure you'll do what you think is best. If it's time for it to be over, it's time for it to be over. As much as we might want a few more precious lifetimes with you. There's no turning back now. But if that's what you want, you can always hope that- Yeah. We're already here, and we've already brought the blade. And nobody wanted to throw it out the window. I did. We can't just go back now. One way or another, we'll have to see this through. There's your third beat. Hey, you're right. There it is. I'll say it's very funny, though. Okay. If this is your choice, then I have your back. I guess I'll see you on the other side. Speak for yourself. Maybe I'll see you too. Maybe I won't. You will. They take the blade from our hand and stare fondly into our eyes. Yeah. It's better if we don't say anything. Everything is going to be okay. We love you. stuck in place. We both move, and yet we both don't. For each of us watches the other instead of ourselves. But forever is not forever. You let me move, and I slam the door. But that is not the end. And both of us must face our partner once again. The barbs twist deeper, but they do not have to. To change is to hold the potential to rise above. Would you limit yourself to what you are now? Or would you like to see what you might become tomorrow? If there are no endings, there are no limits. If there are no limits, then there's no difference between growth and decay. Meaning lies in experience, and experience lies in contrast. Abandoning one's search is not the same as losing the capacity to discover. I am contrast itself. To reject me is to reject the shape of everything. Do not use words to reduce that which your eyes know to be irreducible. I have already come so far. What more is there left for me to see? More than either of us can possibly imagine. If you would only open yourself to the totality of existence. With time, we could have been better. And there is always time. It's almost over, isn't it? Well, that's okay. Let's just talk, the two of us, one more time, before you kill me. Dang. She sounded just like that. Timid and gentle. Only, she didn't know us. And down we go. We shouldn't keep her waiting. You're really going to do it then, aren't you? You're really going to kill me. You don't have to. You know that, right? But if that's what you want, we might as well talk a bit first. I wouldn't mind a few extra minutes. All right, let's be bastards. So this is really it then. Let's see this through. So this is what it feels like to actually die. I think this is for the best. I don't know what the world would be like without me. But it can't be that bad if it still has you in it. I've always loved you. Don't forget me. That's probably for the best. I don't want to be a god. I don't think I want that either. 
Are you the same as you are out there? I don't feel the same. I feel smaller. I only wanted to slay the you out there. It's easier to want to kill an abstract concept than it is a person. Then maybe you don't have to kill me. Maybe there never even has to be an ending. I'm able to do the things you believe me to be able to do. So make me put it all back. Help me fix the Echo's construct and make us both forget. Help me send us back to the beginning, before we woke up, before either of us saw the truth. Can she really do that? Are you sure that's what you want? Would resetting it do anything to help them? The people out there? If you continue to exist, then don't they continue to die and suffer? If you can believe this helps them, then it will help them, right? I don't want to forget you. I don't want to forget you either. But unless we do this, you'll have to choose, right now, between me and everyone else. That's rough, buddy. We're going to find ourselves back here eventually. And when we do, we'll make the same choice. We'll choose to forget, and we'll reset everything, again. We're talking about this right now. How do we know we haven't done this before? Maybe we have done all of this before. Maybe we're supposed to do this forever. How do you know that things won't end worse? What if when I make my way back here, I'm different and I hurt you? What if I kill you? What if I let you bring about the end of everything? None of that will happen because you'll still be you and I'll still be me. But how do you know that? We'd have to decide to do this for every single time. Forever. Eventually something's going to be different. I know because it doesn't matter how many times we've hurt each other. I've never stopped caring about you. And if you feel the same, then everything is going to be okay. It's all going to be daijobu. This isn't fair. I want to be here with you. I don't want to be alone again. But you won't be alone for long. I'll be right here, waiting for you. Is there any other way? I think you brought that knife down here for a reason. It has to be a part of how this ends. I take it all back. I don't want this, and I don't want to kill you. Is it too late to go back to being a god? It feels like it is. You wouldn't have come here if you were just going to go back. Okay, then let's do it. I believe in us. Okay, if this is your choice, then we're doing it. I guess I'll see you on the other side. See you on the other side. She takes the blade from our hand. She raises her gentle eyes to ours, a fondness in her gaze. See you soon. Everything is going to be okay. I love you. She's so cute. No blade it is. Have you given up on slaying her? Yes. You don't have a weapon. Do you really want to kill me? Because you don't have to. So good to finally see you again. Yeah, I missed you so much. Not that we've ever really been apart, but still, it feels like it's been so, so long. Man, we're really codependent. Like this is some sort of a big reunion. I mean, I am too. I'm sorry for all the times I've hurt you. Don't apologize. The first time we met, I ate you. I'm really sorry about that. And I also think that it kind of outweighs anything you did to me. We both let things get a little out of hand. But we don't have to let that stop us from being who we want to be. You know, when she puts it like that... I don't think I want to be a god. Me neither. It's so... big. 
It's so much responsibility. And at the end of the day, it just feels like waking up in another basement. It's something we never asked for, trapping us somewhere we never wanted to be. Are you the same as you are out there? I am she, as much as she is me. And all of us are both everything and also... not everything. Eloquent. <laughs> I had you there for a second, didn't I? I think I'm... different from her? And I'm happy I'm different. I think being her would mean I'd lose a lot of myself along the way. I think I'd have to lose the parts of you that matter to me. Which princess are you? You look like you did the first time we met. Is this the real you? I'm the princess. The one you've been spending all this time with. I know I've changed a few times, but so have you. And you're still real to me. So now that we're here at the end of everything, can you finally tell me your name? I don't have one, and I think I like it better that way. But you can call me Princess, if you want. You know, you never told me your name. I'm fine with the long quiet. Quiet it is. Oh. Not hero? Oh well, quiet will do. That's always been us, hasn't it? Hero, I'm sorry! I don't think I have one either. Then I guess I'll call you... Quiet. Not Hero. Not Hero? Oh well. Quiet will do. That's always been us, hasn't it? Wait, so are we only Hero for the princess that we kill first? Or can I shrug it away? Call me Hero, woman. Then I guess I'll call you... Quiet. Say my name! But, I mean, now that I'm quiet, I can be a Metal Gear Solid character, so... None of this was ever really fair for either of us, was it? I don't know. We made it to the other side, and we found each other. I think that means all of the bad was worth it. That's my outlook. What do you think of her? What she wanted us to be? I don't know. I don't think it's fair to judge her. It must be so lonely, thinking that she's everything that matters in the world. Thinking that she's the only one with all the answers. It's a good way to look at narcissists. I never thought about it like that. That does sound lonely, doesn't it? The loneliness of your own making. I don't think I ever really wanted to slay you, but I don't like what your existence means for the world. You were the one who decided to come down here without a weapon. What do we do now? Don't put the blame on me. It's shared. What if we just leave? Can we actually do that? What would that even mean? Where would we go? Everywhere. Aww. I only wanted to slay the you out there. It's easier to want to kill an abstract concept than it is a person. For what it's worth, I'm glad you don't want to kill me anymore. But what do we do now? What if we just leave? Can we actually do that? What would that even mean? Where would we go? I've always wanted to leave with you, but I didn't like being a god. Just want to walk through that cabin door as we are. Just you and me. I want that too. I think I'm gonna stay right here. Whatever you're doing- Oh, it's the worst part. Not knowing what it means is why I want it. We knew everything out there, but we don't know this. I want to know something new. That's terrifying, but yeah, I think I want that too. Glad I can terrify you. It doesn't matter what it means. What matters is that we're leaving together. That's all I want. I want that too. I don't know where we'd go, but as long as it's not here, and as long as I'm with you, that's all I want. I want that too. Let's be our namesake. 
Uh... Okay, let's do it. Yeah. I think I'm gonna stay right here. Whatever you're doing right now, wherever you're going, it feels like it's for just the two of you. Are you going to be okay alone? Yeah, I'm not sure I'll be alone for too long anyways. The others are still around here somewhere. I'll find them. Hate that. It should have been me. Hands clasped together. You and the princess leave the basement behind for the last time. Let's fucking go! No. Come on, princess. It's just a door. Sorry, I'm just a little nervous. This is really it. Whatever happens next will be completely new. Open the door. Neither of us knows what it's going to be like out there. And that's okay. That's the point, right? Side by side, stepping out into the unknown. Together. Are you ready? Yeah, as ready as I'll ever be. Who's going to open it? Both of us, right? Right. I love you. I love you too. There it is. Slay the princess, the end of everything update. As far as I know, that's everything. If I missed anything, put a comment down there. Let me know what I missed. If I didn't miss anything or if I did and you do not care, put a comment down there and let me know who your favorite princess has been so far and who you're most looking forward to in the final cut because I know I'm looking forward to everything. But I really hope there's some extra thing for the stranger. She's just so precious. I love her. you guys so much for watching i look forward to seeing you again in the final cut and whatever video gets posted next when my lazy ass edits it hope you all have a good night get some sleep and wake up well rested tomorrow see ya